Hello everyone. Welcome to Knowledge Circle. So the paper is already over and uh, we are here with the solution of this paper. The very first question we'll solve in this video we'll solve section A. The very first question is we have to depict that uh, what is represented by this particular picture. Okay. So you can see here there is a polygon and then there are three other figures attached with that. So it is clearly depicting that both are uh, both polygons and pictures are classes. Polygon is the uh, you can say super class and uh, these other three are the subclasses. So here which option will be correct? Option B will be correct. Let's move to the uh, next question. Qu question number two. Second question is that INTX equal to 98 care CH equal to uh, there is explicit conversion X. So 98 represent by which uh, character that is a small b so what will be stored in that small b so here which option is that option a will be correct let's go to the third question output of the concentration output of the statement concentration dot index of so if you see the index of this will begin with zero uh, zero one two three four five six so it is on the seventh, but it is will it will be what six because we have come, we are counting from zero. So answer will be six. Okay. Now the the specifier that gives the specifier that gives least accessibility. So that will be private. Private is the uh, most secure. So it gives you least accessibility. Okay. Then it go. Uh, let's go to question number five. Question number five is the output of the statement talent dot compare to genius. When you compare talent dot uh, genius then the, we have to see the first letter if, uh, is different so t minus g we have t minus g so when you find the uh, ASCII value of t you will get 116 and uh, the ASCII value of g is what 103 so when we subtract what we get we get 13 so our correct option will be option d here the correct option will be d let's go to the next question which of the following is uh, an escape sequence so you it is quite clear that three are wrong and one is correct only so the correct option will be here option b this is the escape sequence moving towards the next question question number seven it is saying that if a is greater than b and b is greater than c remember it b is greater than c and a is greater than b so the largest number will become a a is the largest number the next question question number uh, eight what is the output of math dot seal and math dot seal 4.5 and 5.4 so 5.4 will become what it will become six and 4.5 it will become what five it will go to the nearest greater integer so the sum will become 11 but not 11 it will be what 11.0 so accordingly which option is correct here option b is correct let's go to the next question question number nine which which method uh, is used to check whether a character is letter or digit so here the correct answer will be option c is letter or digit and the character argument has to be passed which has to be checked whether it is letter or digit question number 10 the extension of java source code is so what is the correct answer it will be d java let's move to next question the number of bytes occupied by a character array of four rows and three columns so see number of elements in the array will be what four into three there will be 12 element and each element is of two byte because it is character so the total number of bytes occupied will be 24 so which option is correct option b is correct let's go to the next question question number 12 which of the following data type cannot be used with switch case so option d will be correct double other three can be used in switch case question number 13 which of the following are entry control loop see for and while are entry control and do while and do while is not so here switch is not a loop it is what it is selection statement so here option b will be correct one and two only okay let's go to question number 14 method which reverses a given number so it will be impure because it is changing the state of the object or its value if the name of the class is yellow what can be the possible name for its constructor so constructor name is same as class name so option d will be correct here 
let's go to question number 16 invoking method by passing the object of a class it is termed as it is termed as what it is termed as call by reference okay question number 17 the correct statement to create an object named mango and of class fruit so the name of the class and object is in small letters so here our option b will be correct okay question number 18 static methods can access static and instance variables it is false static methods can access only static variables static variables reason is what static variables can be accessed by only by a static method no static variables can be accessed by static methods also as well as instance methods so here the option d will be correct assertion and reason both are false let's go to question number 19 what is the output of the java code given below string color blue red violet so here if you see uh, blue is on zero one is on red and two is on violet so two so what is the number of characters in the two violet six characters so here our correct option will be what a let's move to the last question uh, which of the following mathematical methods returns only an integer so option d will be correct math.seal sqrt and float they return the value in uh, double or float they don't return the value in uh, integers so only math dot run now let's start the second question of section a uh, we have to write java expression for it so see uh, for displaying the value in what mod we use what math dot abs so we'll write like this math dot abs okay math dot abs after that we'll write a plus b okay and then after we'll use division symbols and then we will write math dot sqrt then we will write math dot sqrt and in bracket it is a square so we can simply write a into a and then the next one we can write b into b and then after we will put semicolon after that so this is the solution of the first one let's go to the second question uh, this is quite simple question where we have to evaluate the expressions value so here initial value of x is 4 so let's see here we'll write here uh, we'll begin like this x equal to 4 first we'll write 4 then it is x plus plus postfix so it will be written 4 only then multiplication sign then plus plus x prefix previous value of x was 5 it will become 6 and then module 2 so 4 okay. into 0 so 4 it becomes plus. 0 so what uh, will if be you the answer uh, final find answer will uh, be 4 here if so you find the correct answer will be 4 uh, the next one is that we have to write six this module two, it will become uh, zero into because four. there is no remainder here you can see the variables are declared outside the loop so we'll also write the same thing x equal to 10 comma y equal to 20 done then uh, there is uh, no no printing statement in the loop only increment and conditions are there so we'll write like this after that we will simply write here for after for as uh, initialization is done before the loop so I'll put a semicolon here and then after I'll put a condition that x is lesser or equal to 20 as it is given in the question and then after that we'll write two increment statements uh, by giving comma one we will write x plus plus and then comma y plus plus and then after we will put semicolon what we will put will put semicolon I'm telling why I'm putting semicolon I'm making it null loop because it does not have any printing statement then after what we have to do that printing statement which is given that will be written at the end means it, that will not become the part of the loop okay uh, why by using semicolon this will become out of the loop okay so let's go to the next question we have to give the output of the following code see uh, for x equal to 10 x is greater than 20 x plus plus see x is 10 but condition is false it is an entry control loop condition is false so the loop will terminate and uh, the value of x which is written in the this statement will not be executed because the loop is uh, not running but the value of x is 10 outside the loop x into 20 so that is what uh, x into 2 sorry that will become 10 into 2 so what will be the output of this the output will be 20 but that uh, the statement printing statement of the loop will not be executed okay let's go to the next question question number five uh, it is asking that there are two string uh, variables for 45.50 and 54.50 we are converting them into double okay so let's add them when you add 45.5 45.5 and 
five, you get hundred point zero. What we get? Hundred point zero we get. So when you convert an integer, the value of x will be hundred only. So what will be output of this? Hundred. Okay. Now let's go to the sixth question. Consider the following two-dimensional array and answer the following questions. Let's see. Uh, so uh, let's write in the matrix form first. It will be four, three, two. Then it will be seven, eight, two, eight, three, ten, and the last one will be what? One, two, nine. It will be one, two, nine. The very first question is what is the order of the array? See, there are four rows and uh, three columns, so the order will become four into three. The order is four into three. Second thing it is asking what is the value of 0 0 so what is on 0 0 this is what 0 1 2 and this is what 0 1 2 3 so on 0 0 it is 4 so we'll write here 4 plus what is on 2 2 so row number and i and j both 2 so it will be on 2 2 what you get you get 10 so when you add up you get 14 so the first one order is 4 into 3 and the value of uh, the second one the second answer will be 14. Let's go to question number seventh. What is the difference between boxing and unboxing? We all know that. See, boxing is what? It is the process of converting uh, the primitive data type to the corresponding object of its wrapper class. And unboxing is what? Converting the object of primitive type back to the uh, normal variable. Means converting the object into the primitive type. From primitive to object is boxing and uh, object to primitive is called unboxing. Let's go to the next question. Uh, we have to tell that what is the error and we have to tell the output also. See here what is the mistake as we know that compare to method gives the uh, value in integer. So in the place of boolean what will be the data type here? It should be intx. It should be written as intx equal to. And when you compare king dot kingdom what you get? See when you compare king dot kingdom both have first four letters same and the uh, extra letters are d o m so how many letters are remaining three letters because we are uh, the first argument is a and second argument is b so that's why what will be the remaining the output of this will be the x x will become minus 3 the answer will be minus 3 consider the given program and we have to tell the uh, answer the question okay so class stem and uh, there is a default constructor there is a parameterized constructor there is a printing statement okay when we create the object what will happen when you create the object uh, t then the first one will be initialized what will be initialized the first will be initialized this constructor and a will get it 8 sorry a will get 10 now when you create the second object of the class then we pass an argument also 30 so this 30 will be copied to uh, variable z and now the previous value of a was 10 now it will become z and when you call the printing method uh, t so what will be printed it will be printed 30 so what will be output of this the output will be 30 and it is uh, asking that which concept is depicted here because the constructors are overloaded so we will say that here the o which principle of OOP is uh, depicted it is polymorphism is depicted here okay now the output I have already I have told the output will be what 30 okay let's go to the next question uh, primitive types are built in data types which are a part of wrapper classes the wrapper classes are encapsulated in the Java lang package so the question is uh, the question is to which package characters and booleans belongs very easy it is they belong to lang package which is the default package write the statements to access the scanner class in the program we all know that very first line of our program how we write we write import java.util.scanner okay now this was which question